Let, let's talk about how the standards uh, process is changing as we now have hundreds of people uh, rather than tens. We have people from all over the world. Well, the standards process has changed on two levels. Right. And the, well, the process itself hasn't changed. We're still about open consensus standards. So we have our processes are designed to make sure that all points of view get heard, everybody gets their day in court, nobody is manipulating the process. When we started all of this, there was no money involved. Nobody was making any money on and this. And there's a lot of money involved. And now, now this is... Was it, it 10 billion units? Yeah, and it's, this is, it's a trillion dollar, multi-trillion dollar market cap, and whole national economies are based on the success of this technology today. So the stakes, of, what's changed in the standards process is the stakes. So now when I come in with my intellectual property that I want to get in the standard, the, the, the value of that is just so different than it was before. And the process is still the same. It just becomes it, more challenging yes. um, to get to it's, herd the cats. It's an open process. <laughs> it is. It's uh, consensus driven. And, uh, but we're getting many uh, different opinions now. Yeah. Uh, and also some national. And some national interests interest in, in a lot of that. But that's, I think that. You know, our challenge today is, as leaders of these organizations is you know, maintaining the integrity of the standards process right. uh, and I'm just understanding that you know, the, the, the stakes and the values have changed and people are going to work more energetically to get their positions heard and our job is to make sure that everybody, everybody's voice... Everybody's voice is heard but, yep. and we produce high quality market relevant standards. Exactly. Mm -hmm.